Okay. The Upanishads, 2000 BC. In the Prashna Upanishad, it says, What powers hold the body together? And Prana, which remember is dark energy, said, It is I, dividing myself fourfold, who holds hold this body together. And these four are I, is the imaginary number, let's go to minus one, and the three transcendental numbers, pi, e, and phi. These are the four energy centers, or energy roots, that come from the prana, from the dark energy. In the Mandaka, the Upanishad, it says, like two golden birds perched on the self self same tree, intimate friends, the ego and the self, dwell in the same body. 2000 BC, the dual brain, the two minds, the, the ego and the self, dwell in the body. Here we come back. The basic quantum level tri triangle. This is Brahma dividing itself into four, four energy centers. There's the head and the heart, the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. Now remember that the right hemisphere comes out of the far, goes to the far left of the eye and the left goes to the far right of the eye. Both eyes are each the two hemispheres. Basic dual brain psychology. Now here we have the head and the heart. Now the dark energy comes in here and appears as intelligence, sentience, consciousness, the shining self. And then to be able to see that light, that point of light, we have the eye, which is ruled by the heart, the, the ego, here. So that you'd have to have an eye to see the light. The light is the seeing of it. And this is the key point, is the eye is ruled by phi, the golden mean, the pentacle of the Fibonacci series, the number that occurs everywhere in nature. So there's the eye desires or is built to see order. The ego sees order and harmony all around. Now the ego in the heart, because obviously it's all about the heart, the heart follows, the eye follows the movement, which is the function of pi in the left hemisphere. So, this, remember this is the prana dividing into four. So there's an identification of the ego, there's the shining self, there's an identification with the ego, there's also an identification with the movement, you know, with success. But seeing movement, seeing the consequences of movement, the consequences of action, this causing anxiety in the left hemisphere ends words and philosophies and descriptions and all manner of wonderful things. Anxieties and scheming, anxious scheming. But there, from that, from that eye following movement, we have the development of the left hemisphere and then all the consequences of following that movement. This, is, remember, is the differential we're following movement and seeing accelerations, relative accelerations. This is where the CBT comes from, with the behavior. You know, seeing your own behavior. Here, in the right hemisphere, we're seeing a face. This is about our relationships. Now, if the heart, the ego, doesn't see order, doesn't see harmony, get an ego disturbance, which is where this REBT comes in. And then here, for the eye movement, you get the switching from the right to the left to balance out for the ego, 
It's the instability of the ego needs to see harmony. Now this is the problem <coughs> with the comp uh, quantum computer that it's unstable. Now if it was arranged according to the Fibonacci series you know like a flower then it would be become stable. Just like our ego can become unstable so uh, uh, but we naturally stabilize ourselves so the com quantum computer can stabilize itself through using phi now this is the secret teaching of the Buddha with a flower that he showed Kasyapa when he smiled. The Buddha was showing Kasyapa the harmony in the flower, but in the internal flower, the secret of the golden flower, seeing harmony at the golden mean, that we, and, the, and that's the benefit we get from nature. So the harmony comes from return to nature. Fantastic. Brilliant.